Hello and welcome to the HGMI Culinary TV. Today we make a very simple dessert, anybody can hope, but tasty nevertheless. An apple frangipan galette. What you ask is that, frangipan. Frangipan is a very simple recipe. It's an almond cream, they call it in English. It's basically butter, sugar, eggs, mostly almonds and a little bit flour. And that will be baked. And that is very nice with fruit particularly sour fruits like apples, pineapple, but even mango, cherries, is fantastic. And uh, for the galette, we use the base, we use puff pastry. Puff pastry, now you can find in every supermarket, it's a good product, it's fairly cheap, easy to use. Instead of making puff pastry at home, which is a complicated and the time-consuming process, we'll buy the puff pastry. So let's get started. First, we unroll our puff pastry, which comes in most of the time in sheets already. There we go. And we want to cut that now into our dimensions. So what I have here is a cutter. Fairly big, you think, but it's not. But because puff pastry, while it's baking, it tends to shrink. So now we cut a couple of discs, or as the French call galette, which means it's a flat round disc. Let's make six pieces for now. And place this on our tray lined with baking paper, so they don't stick onto the tray after the baking. There we go. Now this we will keep and make another time another dessert with that. An Arabic dessert or Mali. There we go. So that is our galette ready. Now we need to prepare the almond cream. Almond cream, frangipan, again is classic butter and sugar with cream together. The creaming method. Then we add egg one by one. And lastly, the almond, the ground almonds or almond powder, a pinch of salt, which is very nice, and the flour. So let's get started with the creaming. Butter and sugar. And we want all of it. And break the eggs already. Now, so again, with the creamy method, we always add the egg little by little to so we'll let the mixture incorporate. The last of the egg goes in. Pinch of salt. So and then we scrape the sides off in order to add the other ingredients. Our almond powder, ground almonds. And some flour. No need too much. Maybe a tablespoon or so is enough. Just to give a bit of binding. So now we'll bring it all together and cream that a little bit. There we go. And that's it. Frangipan or almond cream. There we have it. Frangipan or almond cream. 
So this now we want to put onto our puff pastry galette. How do we do that? We use a piping bag. Pastry guys like piping bag because we really can control the quantity, the portions with the piping bag. Better than anything else really. So, put some in here. And now again, we just want to pipe it into the center of our, no need too much, maybe just a small amount like that should be enough. There we go. And now we have fruit. Now we can use apples, like I mentioned. Pineapple is very nice, mango. I wouldn't use strawberries because strawberries tend to get very soft and runny and don't look so nice. So you want to have a fruit which is a bit of sour because the frangipane is quite sweet and which holds its shape. And now we just arrange our apple slices on top of the frangipan galette. And if you have a little bit design with it, look at that. We get beautiful star shape. Now we covered our Puff pastry galette with the frangipan, after that with the apples. So now it's time to bake. Okay, and here we have beautiful apple frangipan galette, fresh from the oven. Now just about presenting. So we take a nice place and see it's crispy pastry, has a soft almondy center, fresh fruit, apples in this case on the top. A little bit here on the plate, with a little bit of chocolate and a bit of fruit. And now imagine a scoop of vanilla ice cream with that, or some whipped cream. Wow, sex on the plate, I say. And there we have it, apple frangipan galette. Fresh from the oven, it's simple, it's easy, everybody loves it. There you have it. And with that, bada bing, bada boom, best wishes and great dishes.